the arson committed at Agricultural Hall on the campus of MSU on New Year's Eve 1999 was an act of domestic terrorism, plain and simple. They are considered one of the top domestic terror threats in the United States. Now four people from the Earth Liberation Front are charged with arson. Good evening, I'm Juliet Dragas. We have the night off. The four people are accused of setting fire to Agriculture Hall at Michigan State University on New Year's Eve. WZZM 13 Sarah Sell joins us with the story. Well, Juliet, as most of us were ringing in the new year and planning for Y2K, investigators say these four people were planning a terrorist attack on the campus of MSU. Federal investigators say the group's preferred method of destruction is arson. The damage from the fire cost Michigan State University over $1 million. The cause was quickly ruled arson, but for eight years, investigators searched for those responsible. The public may lose track of these kinds of events or may forget about them. I can assure you we do not. The U.S. Attorney's Office, along with the FBI and University Police, announced four arrests. 46-year-old Marie Mason of Ohio, 33-year-old Frank Ambrose, 27-year-old Aaron Berthwick, and 27-year-old Stephanie Foltz, all of Detroit. Unfortunately, in this country, we have domestic groups, domestic terrorists, who use violence to advance their thoughts. Investigators say the group acted on behalf of a radical environmental group called the Earth Liberation Front. Investigators believe the group set out to destroy federally funded plant genetic research at Agriculture Hall on the campus of MSU. The use of violence and the destruction of property to make a political statement cannot be tolerated in a civilized society. Mason and Ambrose are accused of setting the fire, while Berthwick and Foltz are accused of helping them plan the attack. All are facing federal charges that could put them in federal prison for up to 20 years. And the day after the fire, the group is also accused of setting fire to logging equipment up north in Wexford County. There was $18,000 worth of damage there, and the group spray-painted ELF on the equipment. They also face charges in that case. Julia?